everybody, Strider's back with another pre-game stats breakdown. So starting off on the red team, we're going to have a Blitzcrank, Mordekaiser, Ezreal, Lux, Riven versus the blue team who has Jace, Kale, Xinjiao, Nunu, and Graves. Should be a great matchup. So starting right off along at the top lane, we're going to have Riven versus the Kale. Now Riven mains top while Kale also mains top. So no one's going to have a big advantage, but Riven's been played by this person about 220 times with a 58% win ratio, which is actually really good. With that many games, that's a really good win ratio to hit. Uh, Kale has been played by this person quite a bit less with about 30-35 wins uh, with a 61% win ratio. So it's a little bit higher win ratio, but a lot less games. I think overall I will have to give this game to the Riven since she just has so much more experience on Riven. Um, but then if we go into the mid lane, we're going to have Mordekaiser. Yes, Mordekaiser. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Versus the Jace. Uh, Mordekaiser mains caster while Jace mains jungle. So this should give Mordekaiser a pretty big advantage. Uh, Mord has been played by this person seven times with a 42% win ratio, which is not that great. Jace has been played by this person eight times with a 62% win ratio. Uh, which is good, but it's still not a lot of games. So I'm a little bit worried about this. I think I'll end up giving it to Mord anyway, just because he's more familiar with the lane and the possible matchups. Um, even though Jace isn't a typical mid, but he's become one lately. Um, but anyway, going into the jungle, we're going to have a jungle blitzcrank. Yes, haven't seen one in a really long time. Uh, versus the Xinjiao. Uh, now, Xinjiao is a very, very strong champion, so I'm kind of worried about the Blitzcrank here, but uh, Blitzcrank mains jungle, while Xinjiao also mains jungle. Blitzcrank has been played by this person nine times with a 44% win ratio. Not all that great, not a lot of games, and a, kind of a bad win percentage. Xinjiao, on the other hand, has been played by this person about 150 times with a 62% win ratio. Uh, so 100% have definitely given this game to uh, the blue team's jungler, Xinjiao. And then in the bottom lane, last but not least, of course, we have Ezreal versus Graves. Uh, now, Ezreal and Graves both main AD carries, so no big advantage there. But Ezreal has been played by this person about 70 times with a 62% win, ra win ratio, which is really good. And Graves has been played by this person six times with an 83% win ratio, which is also really, really good. Uh, just not a lot of games. Uh, so I think I will have to give the AD position to Ezreal on the red team. Then if we look at... The supports, we have a support lux. Definitely not something we see very often, but it's always fun to watch uh, versus a support Nunu. Uh, now, lux mains caster, so not familiar with the support role, but probably familiar with the champion a little bit. Nunu mains jungle, so most likely could be possible that he is familiar with that champion, just not the role um, as well. So Lux has been played by this person five times with a 60% win ratio, where Nunu has been played by this person 43 times with a 74% win ratio, which is huge. So I think I'll have to give the support to uh, the blue team as well. Uh, so it's really hard to say. It's a tough choice to call. Uh, but overall, if you add up everyone's wins and losses, the red team has a 58.68% chance of winning on average, and the blue team will have a 65.27% chance of winning on average. Uh, I think I'll have to go with the numbers and vote for the blue team on this one just because they have a lot more people that are more familiar with the champions that they're playing. So let's go ahead and get in the game and see what happens. Hey, what's going on, guys? Strider's back with another slice of ELO Heaven, and we do have Sauce in this match today which should be interesting. He's also playing Mordekaiser, who I've not seen in a very long time, very like a really, really long time, uh, but I do still really like Mordekaiser. Um, so I'm very interested to see how this is actually going to turn out. Um, there's a, a lot of melee champions. Well, yeah, I guess, I guess pretty much everybody's back to the whole melee thing. Uh, as far as the blue team goes, man, the blue team has a lot of damage with... Uh, Jace doing some nice poke, uh, Kale having the slow with a little bit of a heal, Zinja having a nice gap closer, Jace having a gap closer, and then Nunu bot with a nice slow and speed up, uh, Kale with a speed up and a slow, Graves, yeah, it's gonna be pretty, pretty nasty if I were to say, blue team looks like they have a phenomenal team, um, as far as the red team goes, red team is gonna possibly be a little bit underwhelming this game as far as their team comp goes they have the blitzcrank and it's actually a jungle blitzcrank so it's kind of in my opinion it's up to him to make or break the game he's either going to do a phenomenal job uh or 
uh, at the same time, he is going to be jungling against a Zin Chao. So if Zin Chao catches him out of position, he's not going to be in a happy position, <laughs> like in a happy spot. He's not in his happy place anymore. Um, so I will be a tad bit worried about that. Uh, I'm assuming Lux is going to be supporting. I don't know if that's a good assumption or not. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So. Uh, although the Nunu Graves is a, also a relatively interesting choice. I don't see that very frequently. Because uh, usually when you have Graves, you'll get a different support like a Leona or a Blitzcrank. Uh, or something that's a little bit more offensive uh, than a Nunu. Uh, Nunu is good for... Ooh, we could have a nice little invasion here, so we'll check it out. Riven's catching up. Her Broken Wings on 8 second cooldown. A nice... Ward, red team saw that somehow. They put it down. Ooh, not quite. Blue team is pinging out the red team, saying that they're there. Uh, red team is a nice little ward over here. Uh, just to see if they were going to walk out of that brush. But luckily for the blue team, they already walked out before it happened. So now red team is circling around the top. They could have a huge engagement onto the Zincha, But Zincha is going to run back right now. Minions yeah, that was a <laughs> good move by Zincho. Zincho was like, I could probably take him one on one, but then once he saw another like four people behind him, he's like, oh, probably not. So he ran away. Great job by him. We should have a really nice leash. Wow, this is gonna be really good for Blitzcrank. Oh, nice little steal on the race there. Another nice little leash. Uh, that's going to be... I don't know if it's going to be a smiteless one, though. He may need the smite to finish this up. No, it looks like Riven is just going to do it as much as possible. Yeah, Blitzcrank 2 and a phenomenal job in the jungle so far. Let's see if he can keep it up. Jace actually going into mid lane with Kale going top, which I was a little bit shocked by. I figured that uh, Kale would have... Well, no, actually, now that you mention it. Kale's probably a little bit weaker since... She has to kind of spam her spells to really be able to do anything, but Jace has a lot more ranged auto attacks and stuff like that. Riven has a lot of gap closers, so I'm a little bit worried uh, about her in that matchup. I don't think Kale's going to be super strong in either of these matchups, uh, but she's going to do all right to begin with. Jace doing as much damage as he can. Wow, a lot of action going down. But luckily for Mordekaiser, he does have quite a bit of armor, and he also does have his... Uh, his Creeping Death. So the Creeping Death is going to do a really nice job for him. Oh, Blitzcrank coming around from the back. Is he going to be able to get a gank? There was no ward in that tribush or in the jungle. Very interesting. I don't know why they did that. Nice. Oh, is he going to get a grab off? That is the question. Yes, he will. That is going to be a flash. They are going to pick that up in a beautiful first blood. Nunu was waiting for that grab to come out so we could flash away right away, but he took way too much damage before that grab. Uh, it was definitely not the smartest move, but it was a great attempt and good job by Blitzcrank just like waiting for me. He's like, if you're not going to flash away, I'm going to wait till the very last second to grab you. <laughs> and that's exactly what he did. So uh, he made him use his flash as well as kill him. So that was just overall really, really good job. Mordekaiser still actually doing pretty good. Wow, top lane could have quite a bit of action going down. Zinjao coming around from the back. He's going to do a ton of damage. Nice flash as well. The exhaust coming out. That is going to be a death. And oh, Zinjao could definitely initiate onto the Slux. Is he going to finish it off? That is a double kill for the Zinjao. Beautiful play. Absolutely beautiful. If they keep this up, that could be really dangerous. Oh, what are, they just right past right by each other. Oh, no, Jace. Jace, get him, Jace. Jace. Oh, no. Mordecai is going to be able to walk out of there just barely. That is going to be a little bit too much for him. And Mordekaiser is going those nine health potions to start. Very interesting start maneuver. Blitzcrank is going to get spotted out by this ward, which is going to cause Kale to speed herself out of there. Is she going to have to force her flash out? No, she won't. She will flash after she gets grabbed, and that is not going to be good. That is a very dead Kale. Beautiful play by the red team. I really want to... I thought Kale was going to flash before the grab, but it just did not happen that way. Ooh, 
see the weird thing about this middle matchup or mid lane matchup is that Jace is a very good pusher, uh, but at the same time Mordekaiser is one of the best pushers in the game. It's just he can overextend very, very easily. All of his spells pretty much do a AOE damage, uh, which makes it very difficult to just last hit. You have to simply just kill them all and then kind of hang out and wait for it. And uh, there's a lot of really nice harass coming out from Jace. I don't know if it's going to be enough. He, The only bad thing about Jace is that he doesn't actually ha or like gain anything from hitting level 6. Since his ultimate just switches his stance, but Mordekaiser on the other hand is going to gain quite a bit of power if he hits 6. If he's able to also pick up Jace at that time, that's going to provide him a lot of pushing power. Uh, his bottom lane is still relatively even. Ezra's a little bit ahead, has a kill, but not really too much. Mid lane completely even on CS. Wow, a nice little shield coming out from Lux. Lux may be able to... Ooh, she... Oh, a nice snare right outside the brush, and Ezreal misses... A snared, I don't know what's going on here, but this is a nice initiation. That is gonna be a beautiful grab onto the z Wow, that was actual really, really, really good grab onto the Nunu. I thought it grabbed the Zinja out first, but it looks like Nunu intercepted it. Oh, Zinja maybe coming around for another gank, but he is pinging out because they do have a ward there. So I don't know if Ezra is just going to throw in a Mystic Shot to delay him or not. I really don't know what he's going to do yet. Oh, we could have a lot of action coming up top. There's a lot of damage. Kale almost goes down. The Ignite onto Riven. Riven throws out her ultimate, but it's just not quite enough. She still has it all activated. And there is pings going down onto Riven. They really, really, really want to kill her. Uh, but they also want to kill Kale. Kale is pretty low, but she does have her heal. Just don't know how much she's going to be able to survive in the long run here. I don't know why they keep pinging her. There's no jungler around. And she has an ult. Or she has uh, she has a ward. Don't know if they'll be able to actually catch her out. Kale just is ridiculous. Kale doesn't have her ult, flash, or ignite. This is the perfect time for him to go in. And yeah, that could be... Ooh, she's actually not going to go for it. Oh, a nice flash, an easy pickup for that Riven, having absolutely no problems with the kill at this point in the game. Uh, still behind in CS, but she does have two kills. Kill going for that Fiendish Codex, and oh man, Riven could have a really bad time against that Zin Chao. Even with the stun from Riven, Zin Chao can still close the gap pretty easily. Man, I just want to see this Mordekaiser. Mid lane is pretty much a stalemate, like I said. They're uh, they're both excellent farmers, um, both doing a phenomenal job. But wow, Mordekaiser just does not care, and his shield is absorbing everything, <laughs> almost everything. <laughs> they they ended up coming out even on that exchange, uh, even though Mordekaiser didn't really do anything to Jace. He didn't try, uh, but if he can get. Uh, if yeah, if he can get a Mace of Spades, single target Mace of Spades, onto Jace, that's gonna do a lot of damage, uh, and that's one of the things I really like. Oh, Jace actually gonna be getting that blue buff. That is gonna help him so much in lane. He's gonna have decreased cooldowns as well as borderline infinite mana. Uh, so which is gonna allow him to uh, charge that tier of the goddess up so fast, throw down some harass, and just go on. Yeah, just go on to the Mordekaiser without any issues whatsoever. Nice stun again coming out. Wow, Kale's throwing down the beats. She's going to keep healing herself, pushing her back up. In the meantime, Ezreal goes down. And now Lux is going to throw out the arrow, arrow of the laser, but a really beautiful flash dodge from her. <coughs> Nunu is going to keep chasing. Is he going to follow up? No, it does not. Looks like they will have to back off, but Lux does not care. Lux wants to get the kill. Blitzcrank gets that Gank is anything in a beautiful snare and then the ultimate coming out the exhaust going down and a flash is he gonna be able to get there yes just barely oh, oh nice attempt at that kill but in the meanwhile up top kale ults the sin so he doesn't get much of anything Ezreal throws out his ultimate jace ends up picking up the kill onto the lux and wow there's just way way too much action going down right now mordekaiser came down a little bit too late wasn't able to follow up with the jace 
just just throwing out abilities just to check to see if anybody's there. This is once again gonna be a really nice pushing effort from both members of that mid lane. Right now kills are tied at six to six. Doing an absolutely great job, both teams. Uh, Blue is ahead by about 150 gold, so it's at 10 minutes, this game is pretty close to dead even. And that is very impressive because it's not something that happens very frequently. I would expect a dragon attempt on one of the teams pretty soon, possibly even a dragon fight. Uh, although since they know they're really, really even to each other, neither of them probably want to start the dragon because it'll give them that tad bit of a disadvantage when fighting against the other team. And that is definitely what I would be worried about. Ooh. Really close to landing that. Oh, Blitzcrank coming out. Is he going to be able to get a grab on there? That is the real question. But Nunu in the meantime is able to flash out. Are they going to get it? No, the grab doesn't go down. Misses it with a nice juke and bam harass take that Nunu going super low I actually kind of like this Lux Ezreal combo. They have a lot of uh, global Well, not quite global, but a lot of really long-range abilities and oh Sin Chao gets the slow right after these does and the ultimate is gonna help But now he's onto the tower and that is a lot of harass going down almost picking up but not quite. Oh, this is not going to be good. If Riven can get out of here, that would be great. She's going to throw her ultimate, and wow, beautiful stun. Is it going to go down? Oh my gosh, the minions. Are the minions going to kill him? 17 HP. Cannon minion, go. <laughs> oh, the heal just barely gets it. Oh my gosh, he didn't quite do it. Minions. Oh, grab. Beautiful grab, and that is a dead kill. Wow, it was really beautiful play. Good job by Kale, but also good job by Blitzcrank. He stopped there for a second. I was really worried what he was doing. Because he did have a ward here, so I think he could have just grabbed her through the wall. But, you know. Stuff happens. Stuff happens. At this point, Blitzcrank is pushing top really, really hard. Uh, he's just going to focus on the minions because he doesn't quite want to take tower. At least, it uh, looks like Riven doesn't want him to take the tower for him. Uh, Ezreal just throwing out the ult, trying to help farm up the wave just a little bit. And a nice little snare coming out onto Lux. Lux is going to do everything she can. It's very possible that Nunu has Pickpocket. Uh, I don't know if they actually have an icon for that yet. But he has been doing a lot of just melee auto attacking. Uh, which is relatively uncommon. Especially this early on in the game. Oh, red team has a pink ward. And they're going to be able to spot that out. And possibly kill that ward before anything beneficial comes from it. In the meantime, Jace and Mordekaiser are still battling it out. Mordekaiser getting a little bit ahead now. He's up by 15 CS. Kale's still up by 6. Riven does not have any long range abilities. So that's going to be really hard for Kale. Kale is going to take quite a bit of damage. Once the abilities are up from Riven, she's able to do quite a lot. But uh, it's just not going to be enough. Blue team is still pinging out this Riven. They really want to keep getting her. Nice flash. And wow. Every time that Kale just has perfect ults onto the Riven. Riven's not going to be able to do much of anything in this position. That is a very dead Riven once again. Beautiful play by the Kale and a lot of crazy jukes. I think if Riven just baited out that ultimate from Kale and just waited for it to be over and then tossed it out, uh, she would have a much better opportunity because she probably could have won that fight or at least backed the Kale off. So uh, she might have been a little bit worried at that point. Oh, Blitzcrank coming in. The ultimate from Ezreal. Oh, a nice grab. I can't believe that hit. And oh, we could have a nice pop-up. Is it going to happen? No, the ultimate is going to finish it up with the auto attack coming out from Ezreal. Beautiful play from the red team once again. The Blitzcrank doing so much work. Those boots of mobility are helping him out so much. Getting in the lanes and getting those ganks. You can just really tell how much effort he's putting into this now. Red team's turret has been destroyed. Blue team taking the first tower of the game. Great job by Kale. Oh, this could be bad for Riven. Riven is going to get popped up. Does look like Kale's going to be able to follow. Riven's going to get out of there with no problems whatsoever. Wow, Jace doing so much damage now to this Mordekaiser. He's going to back off. Wait for his cooldowns to come back up. And oh man, this is not going to be good. Oh no, yeah, they're going to leave each other alone. Nice pokes still coming out from Jace. Red team in the meantime takes out that bottom tower. 
of a blue team. So they're going to be even on towers. Red team is up again just by about 200 gold. Besides that, everything is super, super even. Tier of the Goddess, a little bit more than halfway stacked up for the for the Jays. So he's doing a phenomenal job. Just using as many abilities as he can. And uh, charging that up, that's really going to be beneficial. He's able to push these waves so easily. Pretty much dead even on CS in mid lane once again. Uh, Kale is up by you know just about 15. She has three kills as opposed to Riven who has two. Uh, I'm really worried about that because Riven was up 2-0 and now she's died three times. Uh, so I'm, yeah, that's definitely not good. Oh, Blitzcrank coming in. He's going to flush over a beautiful hit, but Jace coming around from the back. This is going to be really bad. Nice auto attacks and woo, the non-accelerated shock blast coming out gonna finish it up. Kale coming around from the back. She's gonna do so much damage and nice ult. Ezreal is so caught out of position. Grace tries to close the gap but it's not gonna be enough and that's a double kill for the Kale. Acceleration A coming out and that should be a free dragon for the blue team. Blue team doing a overall wonderful job applying pressure where they need to be. They say hey we're starting to lose our advantage. Let's take it back. So they're gonna roam as a man. Yeah basically as one. Uh, so one five-man team, that's all they need. So he took the dragon, and now they're pinging for the middle tower. If they can take this mid tower as well, that's going to be a very successful push. They have a ward here. Oh, nice shot blast coming out. In the meantime, Graves does end up taking the tower. He takes down that bottom tower. Nunu gets a beautiful ultimate off. They have no more CC remaining, and they're going to finally back out of that fight. There is a red minion that's just chasing them. Oh, Shock Blast almost taking out the Ribbon. Ribbon is so, so, so low. And man, they could chase this really bad. Oh, a beautiful flash going either side of that grab. That was very, very risky. Very, very risky indeed. Oh, nice little bit of CC coming out from Blitzcrank. Being able to finish that up. Woo, that was super close. Oh, if he had an acceleration gate with that shock blast, that would have been really good. Oh, Lux's laser and the Ezreal. Oh, like I said, picking up that Nunu without any problems. Doing a great job. Oh, Sniper! Sniper! <laughs> oh, I love those. Great job by Jace. Picking that up. Picking it up. And Jace doing a really great job again. Once again, he's 3-0-1. Mordekaiser actually has not done anything this game yet. Seriously, 0-1-0. He's been farming the whole game. Hasn't really done much. Hasn't really prevented any ganks from happening. Riven is super low. I don't know why she's so low right now. We'll see. Oh. Missed that one. How did Ezreal go down? Okay, so Ezreal here is going to get pinched in by both the Xin Chao. Oh, yeah. He sees Xin Chao and he's like, oh, no, that's not good. So they have a ward in that brush, there's nothing he can do. He misses his mystic shot, wouldn't have helped anyway, and he goes down almost instantly from the combination of those two. Blue team is just going to recall out of there. Oh, Kale tries to take this mid tower. It's still alive and well. Definitely doesn't have too much health left, but wow, takes Mordekaiser down to just below half health. And Kale is getting really beefy really fast. They should have no problems taking down this tower now. Yeah, that is just like two seconds of tower shots. Ooh, power slam. Oh my gosh, even Lux goes down to about half health. And wow, a grab into the snare. That was a beautiful combo. Can you believe it? I did not expect that coming at all. She like knew exactly that when he was going to grab and timed that perfectly. So right when he grabbed, it was just an instant snare. The ultimate now, they they should be able to tank this tower pretty easily with this inch out. And oh my god, Lux goes down instantly from that Jace. They're gonna kill their partner Zinjo because they just don't care. They're like, hey, if you're gonna feed, we're gonna kill you. And of course, New New Bot is just laughing the whole time. Ooh, Kale doing a nice bit of damage. Oh, the grab just snagging a minion. And wow, this could be really bad for Blitzcrank. 
He's going to throw out as much as he can. It's not going to be enough. Kale's ultimate is just way too strong for tanking that tower. And wow, Jace even picks up a kill himself onto the Mordekaiser in mid. Blue team is pushing so hard. They have a massive advantage. Massive advantage right now. I was just saying they had, they had so much damage in this early game. And this is going to be good. They should be able to finish this up. Wow, Gray is hopping over that wall. Is he going to be able to kill the Lux? Not quite. Oh, the Shock Blast, the Ignites. Not enough to tick. Ezreal super low. Riven ends up taking out the Kale. Graves picks up the Lux. And Graves just going to wait for his quick draw to come back up and go back through here. Uh oh, this could be bad. <laughs> oh, Riven's going in. She's not able to pick it up. Not quite. This Baron is so low. Is he going to grab it? Yes, he will get the grab as well as that kill. And he's going to CC them as much as possible. Baron is going to be super low, though. And this could be bad. Oh, man. Graves gets it, but are they going to be able to get out? No, they're going to have to flash away. Jace is going to be super scared. He's the only one left alive, and he has the Baron. I don't know if that was quite worth it. It was good for the gold. It was good for the gold. Uh, but it's not good for just losing everybody on your team entirely, uh, except for one. It was a nice attempt. I think they spent too much time fighting and just not enough time uh, trying to kill that Baron. Because they were really, really close. And I know they wanted to kill the jungler first. They were really worried about that flash smite coming in from Blitzcrank. Uh, but Blitzcrank was a little bit further away. They just didn't have... Uh, I guess they just didn't have vision on them and they were worried about it. Uh, even though they had pretty much complete barren coverage, they just didn't have it in this brush, which could have given it away. Huge wave of red minions coming into mid. Are they going to be able to solve it? Yes, Graves, get all the CS. Bam. So as far as top lane goes, Kale is up by about 20 CS, still doing a great job. Also up by 2 kills. Doing a phenomenal job this game so far, using really great use of her ultimate. And oh, she's getting caught out of position now. She's gonna flash. The ultimate from Ezreal is gonna do a lot of damage, but that heal is gonna be enough to keep her alive just barely. Wow, that is extremely scary. But great job, great, great job by her. Oh, Riven is getting cut out of position here. She is stuck. Gets a double stun. Red team takes the dragon. Riven goes down almost instantly. And Nunu is just going to start laughing. Jace is now on a rampage. That is not going to be good. Jace is extremely powerful. 7 0 and 4. Holy cow. Holy, holy cow. That is. Oh, uh, that's so painful. I can just. I can feel the rage coming from myself. And Zidja just lets Ezreal go without taking any damage. That's weird. Huh. I don't know what to say about that. I can honestly say I've never just been like, meh, I don't really want to go for that. Like, neither of them even tried to attack each other. Ezreal didn't throw a Q. There was no initiation from Jace. There was no arcane shift away. They just kind of bumped into each other. Meh. Oh, the Shock Blast smashing Lux in half, literally, almost picking it up, and wow, that shield is not going to be enough. Oh, Riven is going to be caught out of position. This could be really bad, and nice Shock Blast doing so much damage. Kale is going to finish that up without any problems. Holy cow. Oh, grab after the snare. Beautiful job, but the ultimate now coming out from from Kale onto the Nunu isn't going to be enough. Are they going to finish this tower up or not? Oh, the sniper! Once again. Jeez. Oh. Blitzcrank got out of there just in the nick of time. And oh, that was so close. So close. If you didn't have the ult on him, you would have definitely have gone down. Blue team takes down another tower. And wow, they're just smashing through the front line of the red team. There's nothing they can do at this point. And it is very possible that this could be the ending of the game. Graves is going real hard in the paint. And oh, nice dodge. Collateral damage coming out. That could possibly be a double kill. 
Oh man, there's just so much action going on all over. I don't know who's gonna win. The quick draw, is it gonna be enough? Oh yes, the auto attacks! The auto attacks, they're too much. Lux is gonna be able to finish it off. Oh, Craze just barely surviving. Oh my god, that is ridiculous. That Bloodthirster is helping so much. So much. And the blue team is now stuck between two towers for the most part. Delicious. <laughs> mm, delicious. I love Nunubot. It's probably one of my favorite skins. Nice little ace coming out for the blue team. That was a 5 for 0 exchange. And they're in the base. So you know that the red team must have very low morale. They just all of a sudden now they're 11,000 gold behind. And that is not going to be good for it. Oh my god. Is he going to go down from that one last tower shot? Is going to pick it up. And oh, Gray's trying to finish it up. Gets the ignite. Oh, he is definitely going down from this. Almost picks up the kill, but it's just not going to be enough. Ooh, this is a nice try. Uh, this, is, this is getting to be really intense right now. Oh, Blitzcrank going hard in the paint. Going hard in the paint. He's just rushing it right now. Oh, a nice smash onto Ezreal, almost going down instantly. One more auto attack in the ult. Nope, doesn't even need it. Oh, yeah, he's going to finish it up with the ult. He could have got both of them, and oh, man, is he going to finish up the Lux? No, he just... Oh, the nice snipe coming out from Jace. Is he going to pick it up? And wow, he's not doing any damage, like, at all. Oh, but jeez, Jace does a boatload of damage. Ooh! Not quite. Wow, Mordekaiser doesn't take any damage from Zinchao for some reason. I don't know why. And wow, beautiful double kill coming out from Blitzcrank. Doing a great job. And now Kale is just kind of in the base doing what he does best. In the meanwhile, Nunu picks up the kill on the very, very weakened and injured Mordekaiser. Oh, uh, are they going to pick her up? Run faster. Oh, nice grab. Oh, she's going to ult herself. Try to get out. That is not going to be enough. A beautiful flash. Baiting them into so many members of the team. Is it going to happen? A nice snare, but that is ult from Ezreal and Lux. Both miss everybody. Three for one exchange. Totally worth it. Jace finally dying after he hits a legendary. That was a nice little chunk of gold that they gave her. Kale doing so much work once again. Going the old school style with that Ginsu's Rage Blade. Jace already picking up a Black Cleaver, Bloodthirster, Last Whisper, and a Maramana. Doing a phenomenal job. And they're ripping through this tower. That is a whole heck of a lot of damage coming out from Kale. And that is a very, very dead Mordekaiser. And that, with the blood boil on him, that's ridiculously fast attack speed. And this is most likely going to be the game. Oh, a nice ultimate coming out from Kale at the last second just to save him up a bit. And that is GG. Wow. The blue team, at the end of that game, it was, it was like after 22 minutes or something. They just went into complete beast mode, went offensive, and just bam, bam, bam. It was just completely relentless. Didn't worry about anything else. They were just like, tower dive, team fight, take the tower, and take this tower, and take this tower, team fight. They didn't even care about buying items in the end. Bet you they had a ton of gold in their pocket. Oh, not that much. Kale had a bunch, but nobody else did. Either way, I mean, that was a really great game. It was very interesting, especially at the beginning. It was really back and forth, super even. And then, like I said, the blue team just absolutely smashed at the end. So congratulations to the blue team, GG to the red team. And yeah, if you guys like my videos, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It really does help out the channel. Spread the word. If you have any requests for champions or players, let me know. I'll see what I can find. Hopefully, I can record them. I do have a relatively restrictive schedule from work, but on the weekends, I'm pretty much free at any time. So, hopefully, your favorite players play on the weekend, and I should be able to find them. So, yeah, guys, I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.